And all first of all, straight off the training pitch after the session Thursday, just how was it out there today? It was a lovely day. As you see, the sun's shining. Um, we had a little bit of a dew on the pitch, which created a, a, a very intense session in preparation for the FA Cup game at the weekend against Hereford. Yeah, as you mentioned, FA Cup fourth qualifying round for us, kind of new territory, but how much is everyone looking forward to getting involved in the competition? Of course, the um, FA Cup is, is magical, I'd say. Um, for myself personally, there's been many magical occasions being a Rochdale footballer playing in the um, in the FA Cup. So it's a long-standing, well, it's got a long-standing history, hasn't it? And it is new territory for us playing in in, in, in this round. But you know, we're going to go out there and give it our, our best shot. But the excitement of the cup there it is there for the for the group of boys. It must be a difficult one to narrow down, but are there any kind of moments from your time at Rochdale <laughs> that do stand out in the FA Cup? Yeah, there's definitely a, a couple, but the standout moment will be at, at home against Leeds and uh, winning 2-0. I think that was a, a momentous occasion for the football club and I felt it really um, galvanised and brought like, Rochdale together as a whole, um, seeing that kind of giant killing and it was thoroughly deserved on the day. Looking at Saturday's game in particular, Hereford obviously uh, lead below um, us National League North team, but got a big sort of history in the competition as well as a decent sized fan base as well. What the kind of what are you expecting going into into that game? Historically, they've got good history about them themselves as a football club. Um, we're not going to go into the game light at all. We're going in it to win it and take Hereford very serious because they're a serious football club like Rochdale are. So our intention is to go and win and be in the next round. I know after the weekend game, uh, we spoke to Jim and he was sort of saying it's probably a good time to kind of reflect on the 15 games in the league so far. How do you kind of look at the, the season so far? I think it's right the way that our manager's broken down um, the season into 15 game segments it's it's always good to reflect and learn um, absorb where we're up to as a squad and where we we've done well and where we need to improve um, the FA Cup gives us a little bit of a, a step away from the, the cauldron of the league because it has been relentless over the last four to five weeks of traveling um, and playing Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday um, we've reflected, we've had a short short break away from the training facility um, but the, the rest of this week and today will be focused on where can we get better, where can we improve and what can we do even better um, as a group of player players and individually. So yeah, we've taken stock of 15 games in um, where we was probably maybe 12, 18 months ago. We're light years uh, ahead of where we was then. So. Um, huge progress has been made with, with the group of boys and undoubtedly there'll be further additions to bolster um, the squad and give more competition for places. And how much have you enjoyed that progress that we've made in these first two months of this season? How much have you enjoyed being a part of that? It's been been amazing um, because you have like an, an affinity with a football club if you spend a lot of time there and all you ever wish for is those good moments, those robust nature, of performances, wins, to galvanise people together. And I, I do believe as a group we have um, in spells sh shown really good um, threats, winning games, playing well. Um, but because it is a new group, we d do have to gel and have to um, get to know one another. Um, but overall, I'm really pleased with where we are at this moment in time in comparison to where we was maybe this time last year. Um, I think we've made really, really good, positive steps forward as a football club. And that leads to a lot of optimism going forward as well, I guess. Of course, you know, you've just got to look at the likes of Cairo and George Nevet going away on international duty. Um, and I don't say that lightly, um, and I'm not going to say this disrespectfully. We are a national team at this moment in time. To have a couple of international players on our books is... I'm pretty proud of that and I hope everyone else associated with the football club is because to have that calibre of player at your football club means you're doing something right 